hello lovely people it's candy here welcome back to my channel i'm so excited today i feel like somebody needs to tie a rope to my feet to keep me on the ground because today is my birthday i'm just i'm like a big big kid when it comes to birthdays and christmases i just love them so much i get so excited um so I, you're probably going to be inundated with overexcited birthday videos uploaded but there you go i just can't, i can't help myself it's exciting so i am 52 today and um i loved my 50s so far i know this has been a crazy year but i feel that there's a freedom in being 50 as soon as i hit my 50s Oh, I don't know. I just felt like um, I'd come back to myself and I just have loved, loved it. So I'm really excited. I'm welcoming 52 with gusto. And um, in this video, I wanted to share some of the, the bits and pieces that I've been given and gifted by people. And um, yeah, it's just so lovely. Um, I know I've said this before, but I, um, I've i had a life really where people close to me have used birthdays and Christmases to highlight the fact that I haven't been very, very important to them. And I've, kind, I've always kind of been giftless. Um, yeah, I just have. It's just just what it is it is what it is but even so i still am totally overexcited by it um but there's just so many kind people out there and um i'm not giftless i am not giftless this year for a start out of self-love i bought myself a, a tarot haul which i'll share later for myself including an expensive indie deck and I told myself no you are worth it you don't have to buy the cheapest decks you can find second hand or mass market if you want an indie deck you're worth it so I've got an indie deck that I'll be opening later but in this video I wanted to share what other people have sent me so I saw my best friend at the weekend because she's in my bubble with me she cooked me dinner and bought me cake crown we had wine and candles and she brought me some beautiful gifts i'm going to share those because i opened these on saturday so she brought me a um i think it she she said it's a, a like a birthday card but it's one that she knew i'd want to frame it says candy on it's got the swan oh, i love it that one made me cry so I'm going to get a frame for that because I love that. And then still on the swan theme. Look at this beauty. So she said this one came all the way from America. I think it's absolutely beautiful. So I've got another swan. She said, I know you've got lots, but it, it just looked lovely. You can never have enough swans. And then also she got me this beautiful brooch. Isn't that gorgeous? And she said that she wanted um, something with a crow on. And this brooch kept coming up on her um, on her Etsy feed. Um, or eBay feed, one of them. Um, and it kept coming up. And she went back in to buy it and couldn't find it. And then it came up again. So she contacted the woman who sold them. And said to the woman, you know, is it a nice quality brooch? And um, she got talking to the woman about my history with the Morrigan. And the woman was blown away because she rescues baby crows. <sighs> and she was so excited that this brooch was going to somebody who had a journey with the Morrigan. So that's really precious. Um, what else? What, oh my gosh, I've got so many goodies here. It's just so gorgeous. Um, my friend Jez came over, uh, we did a socially distanced walk and he bought me a beautiful plant. Oh, Cheryl bought me flowers, I've got red roses. Um, Jez also bought me a 
massive, massive pile of vinyl records, which I jumped up and down and squealed on my doorstep when I saw them coming up the driveway. And he just said, I knew you'd love them. I knew, you'd, I knew you could do something with them. So I might be doing some circular paintings. So that's really exciting. Then my kids came home last night because they had a weekend at the dad's and uh, they're super excited. And they bought me um, these because I've done this tarot room up and I said to them, you know, I'd really like some more plants for in my tarot room. So they listened, bless them. And they bought me some little plant pots with some uh, plants growing in there. So the zebra is Busby. And then there's the elephant. Tilly said she, she she's the elephant. And then there's a fox. Aren't they beautiful? Look at that. That's Poppy. So I've got a plant from each of my angels. And then Busby also drew me a picture. This picture, guys, this picture is just so stunning. He said it was for me. Now, Busby is 10 and he's he's an old, wise soul, Busby is. He's, a, he's like our oracle in the house. Um, he said that this is um, me here, um, walking by the side of a lake with lily pads in. Above me, he said, there's a sun, but it's half sun and half moon because they're both important. And there are eyes in the sky and that's like spirit eyes. So um, God or um, the goddess, he said, it's just your spirit energy watching down on you. And he said, the per it's watching down on you and you're surrounded in a fog because sometimes you get sad. But the picture is to remind you that with all this protection, and higher energy walking with you and magic you don't need to be sad and he said that's why none of this fog is reflected in the lake oh isn't that gorgeous isn't that gorgeous so that was a piece of art that my son did for me and he also spent ages May drawing and colouring in this birthday card. Now, if anybody's got kids, you'll know the big craze at the moment online is the game Among Us. So this is an Among Us character and he's put inside, Mom was not the imposter. <laughs> I just love it. Oh, it's just so wonderful. So that was local friends and my kids. Now, oh my gosh, I've had so much kindness. I've had hundreds of messages this morning as well. But I also wanted to share the fact that two people who I am in contact with online and who watch my channel, um, they, they sent me gifts too. And do you know what? That has blown me away. Now, this first gift, which arrived... Um, a few months ago now and the kids were so excited they were going mom you're gonna have a present to open that you don't you don't know what's in there so they snatched it away from me and they've hidden them till this morning now, this gift was from um, a woman called Tina now Tina is an, a sub of Lisa's channel that supported tarot um, I just I love Lisa's channel anyway it's a beautiful community over there and um, Tina is also a sub of Lisa's channel and on Lisa's Facebook group um, when I ordered my indie deck I was so excited when the package arrived from Little Red Tarot that I took a photograph of the box and put on there oh my gosh look what's just arrived my first indie deck I've ever bought myself now I'm going to put it away till November and this was about three months ago and everybody was like why on earth are you going to wait till November for your birthday just open it now and I put in the comments, oh, no, I don't want to open it now because this is a special treat for my birthday. And as a single mom with no family, if I open it now, I might not have another present to open on my birthday. Tina, who I 
have ne never met. Uh, we weren't friends on Facebook. She just saw my reply in a long thread of um, messages with this tarot deck post. And she messaged me in my inbox and said, you know, you don't know me at all. Um, but I, I'm, I've seen your comment. And I was a single mom for a long, long time um, myself. And I know that feeling of waking up on your birthday and the only presents you've got are what you bought yourself. And I want to gift you something that so you've got surprises. Oh my gosh. And through the post, I had these two bags arrive which the kids were desperate for me to open it. I was going to open all of this on camera, but the kids before school, in the madness of trying to get three kids to three different school settings this morning, they were like, no, you must open it. So the first one, it's a book. Oh, isn't this just lovely? So this is Jason Mankey, Transformative Witchcraft, which, beyond the taboos, the power of magic awaits. So it's a book, and that's a book that I really wanted. So that was on my wish list, which is fantastic. But not just that, because there were two parcels. Another book I really wanted, House Magic by Erica Feldman. I mean, this looks absolutely fantastic. There's charging objects, manifesting, witching 101. Um, I mean, look how beautiful this book is. How do you scent and touch and the senses in the house? Um, a harmony in the house. Healthy boundaries, baths, so different things in the bathroom. I mean, it just looks amazing. Does he pet whispering? Oh my gosh, I wonder if my dog's pet yelling in this house. Perhaps we need a bit of pet whispering. Look what it says in the back. A spell is just a prayer with props. Oh, I love it. So, Tina, thank you so much, darling. That just meant the world to me. You are just so, 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 so kind. And I'm going to be looking for ways to pay that forward now because that meant the world to me. It's more than, than two books, although two books is just amazing that's not a small thing but it's the thought and the kindness and the rebuilding of my hope in people that that means to me so thank you and then another gift that i had come through in this beautiful beautiful packing paper with octopuses on can you see the octopus oh gosh i love that um it came and it, it smells it smells gorgeous came from the beautiful Holly D, who is a, a subscriber to my channel and I would class a friend and um, she's she's lovely she's on Instagram her um oh by the way Tina is also on YouTube she has a channel called desist dawdling oh I knew I'd struggle to say that which I'll link down below so Tina she's not posted for about a year um, but I'm still going to link it and go and subscribe and say hi and let's see if we can encourage her back onto YouTube. So Tina bought me the books. Holly D's I've met through my channel. She's a subscriber on my channel. I found her on Instagram as well. Her um, her page on Instagram is called L uh, Larry Mar Tide. Probably haven't said that right either. Uh, she's a nature inspired artist. She works with circles, so we've got a common link there. She does some beautiful art. Her page is full of beautiful um, nature photography as well, and shots of the ocean and leaves. And oh, she, so she's a, a fellow artist. And um, she, she sent me the most gorgeous package. She was so, so kind. I've opened some of it because, again, the kids were desperate for me to open it. But I haven't opened the whole lot because there was so much in here. So Holly was um, was getting rid of what well, she was thinking about getting rid of some decks. And when she saw my taste in decks and how much um, I loved different styles, she messaged me and said, look, would you like 
the Lightseer's Tarot if you haven't already got it. And um, she had a spare deck. And she knew it was right up on the top of my wish list, which it is. And oh, Holly, they all smell gorgeous. And uh, so everything, everything beautifully wrapped. It, it looks like a pack of lions have been at it because that's how excited I get. But um, yeah, so she said, if you haven't got it, can I gift it to you? And like my birthday coming up as well. <sighs> I find it quite difficult to say yes to gifts um, when people and I go my first response is oh no no it's fine no thanks although everything in me is going oh gosh yes please that would be lovely but I just I think with my background and having never been given anything it feels really weird to say yes but um, I just I can't I can't hide how excited I am it's all edged which I love and um, I've got the Muse Tarot and I keep always drop it because I find the card stock really hard and thick to shuffle. Even though I love it, I wouldn't get rid of the Muse. I love it. But I've got videos on here of me dropping the Muse every time I pick it up to work with it. And I honestly thought, oh, God, this is so, this is, this deck. I honestly thought that this would be the same card stock. But I'd seen the images and thought the images are so hum human and warm and gorgeous that I'll cope with the cardstock. Uh, so when, when, oh, excuse the traffic, when Holly said, oh, let me send it to you. Well, I, I was squealing around the house. But I'm surprised. It's different cardstock. It's much more pliable and sh you can shuffle it and... Holly, I, I can't even tell you. Oh, what's the penny? I'm gonna cry before this video's off. Oh. Anyway, so that was the Lightseer's Tarot. But it doesn't stop there. I had a beautiful letter in there as well, which was really touched my heart. Here is the card. Now this is one of Holly's paintings. Isn't that just beautiful? So that I'm gonna find a frame for that. That's going up on my wall. Oh. Holly, just everything in here is wonderful. So that was my birthday card. Also, there was this in there. I mean, for a start, look at that lovely paper. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, what's in here? <laughs> so, I absolutely and utterly love Kim Kranz's work. And when you hear about Kim Kranz's story and her um, and her battles with eating disorders and trauma and using food as a trauma response, I really. <sighs> I'm just going to just pause a minute on that card. Look at that card. Um, I I really feel an affinity with Kim Kranz and her artwork. Of course, the Wild Unknown Tarot was my very, very first tarot deck. Um, and it really connects with my own style of art as well. And again, the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit deck was so high up um, with the light seers on my wish list and this was one that Holly also had on her shelf that she loves she loves both of these decks but she loves this deck but she wasn't using it as much as she wanted to and I've got decks like that and I, it, I and to pass them on would be a heart wrench so the kindness to pass this my way she could see how much I love the wild unknown and she said like would you use the wild unknown animal spirit as well if I sent it to you just everything about this morning has been magical don't cry oh wow look at that 
I'm glad I've got my glasses on because it's kind of hiding the fact that I'm crying. <laughs> ah. Anyway, that is the Wild Unknown, which again, Holly, I love. I absolutely love it. Now, I haven't opened everything. Um, this one I haven't opened. You can see we literally just ran out of time in the madness of school run. So I get to open some of these. I would just want to go... <laughs> But I went on to be godly. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh, look at this. So all of this paper, you know you're going to see this again in my journaling. Have we got the guidebook? Oh, hang on, hang on a cotton picking minute. I did. I saw an octopus. That's awesome. That's awesome. So I've got the guidebook with it. Oh, now these I opened. There were six little wrapped parcels inside an organza bag. So the kids were all really excited. So I said, right, pick two each and you can open them for me. So of course, inside, um, inside the six little parcels there were crystals but more than that with each crystal was a little folded note that tells me about each crystal that hod is written and that touched me so much that made me cry so we have got some green moss agate and can you see Holly's spent so much time writing out what it is and what it's used for. So stabilising, strong connections with nature, attracting abundance. It's all on there. And the time and effort to do that. We've got um, a mazonite. Oh, I'm, I'm not very good with crystals. I'm quite new to crystals. But that it feels like magic, that one. I've got a beautiful piece of smoky quartz. Busby opened this and he was like, look at that, mom, look at it. Tiger iron, that is. And this one, Busby opened this one as well and he went, oh, labradite. I mean, look at that, look at the colours in that. So lovely. And, oh, this piece. Rose, a beautiful piece of rose quartz. Now, after my dad died, I had a vision of my dad walking towards me on the beach. And my dad wasn't a swimmer. He would just stand on the beach if we were in the sea and just make sure we were safe. But the vision I had after he died was him walking down the beach with a huge piece of rose quartz for me. And um, it was only after my dad died that the rest of my family really turned. And I think my dad had been the dam that had stopped all of that coming my way. But with him gone, there was nothing to stop it. And when I saw him, he was just trundling down the beach in his big coat and his scarves, carrying a great big piece of rose quartz, which he just gave me. And I think, I think he, it was to say like, you've got something coming, hold on. Um, and rose quartz is about unconditional love. So to get a huge chunk of rose quartz, it's just like, oh, so thank you, <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, there's some other bits and pieces that I haven't opened yet as well. So again, like beautiful washi tape and beautiful colored tissue papers. <sighs> this smells lovely. This smells gorgeous. I wish you ha we had smelly vision so that you could smell it. Oh my gosh, what's in here, what's in here? Oh, we've got some joss Oh my gosh, they smell gorgeous. Oh. Divine smell. Yeah, that's what it says on there. Just fabulous. Thank you, thank you. And then this is the... The last one, it's just been like a treasure trove to open. It's been so exciting. So I'm gonna put all my plants out and all my crystals in my new tarot room. 
No way, look at this. How gorgeous is that? A little, a little purse. I'm going to keep a little deck in there. Oh, which one shall I put in? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to have to think which deck to put in there. Oh my gosh, Holly. Just thank you so, so, so much. I have been so spoiled this birthday. I feel so blessed and so lucky and so grateful um, for you all. I just can't, um, I can't thank you enough. Um, now, one last thing I also wanted to share is when Holly contacted me about sending me all, all of this so kindly and generously, um, I asked her if I could buy a deck because Holly has her very own um, deck that she's still got some left and um, like I said before she's a nature artist and she is fascinated with circles so and I knew that she'd made her own deck so I inquired if she'd got any left and she said yes she did so I ordered this from her so this came at the same time as all the gifted things it comes in a beautiful really sturdy box which I love. It's got um, Holly's logo that she uses on her Instagram pages on the front and inside there's a gorgeous little clear quartz crystal tower. She's added in a little stand for me but you wait till you see how gorgeous this deck is. Now Part of my art, I make mandalas in my art, um, and I've got a whole series called A um, Hundred Days of Feel the Feels, which I need to share, where I mandala drawing was part of it. And when I realised that Holly also draws mandalas and had got made a little deck, I, I just couldn't wait to get my hands on it, but it is so, so super cute. And I want to use this to start meditating this shirt and to use these images for meditating so this is the deck we've got her gorgeous logo on the back it's gorgeous cardstock but look how gorgeous these are so it's a tiny little deck as you can see i mean that is going to be completely sublime on my altar with some candles around to meditate on so you've got keywords as well as the the drawing itself so that what can you tell i'm struggling to read in these glasses that one says inspiration this is all clear in front of me but reading isn't so good open aren't they lovely <laughs> And the size of this deck is just gorgeous. Sanctuary, self-care. So I think with the key words and with the, um, the artwork, there's so much in there that, um, that can be used for meditation. You've got grow. I love that loose sort of watercolour feel with the ink work on top. That's what a lot of my artwork style also um, utilises as well. So gratitude that one is. Just lovely uh, focus. So I really wanted um, a deck that I could put on my altar when I'm meditating just to create an image, um, an image just to concentrate on or even to scry with and, you know, to lose myself in um, and, and to, to try and almost trance out when I'm meditating. Compassion. And of course, if you're attempting to do that with imagery and you've got a keyword as well, I'm just th really interested to give this a go. And of course, you've got all the, the colour colours as well. That one was abundance. Balance. So this was one of the a birthday present to myself in amongst 
this huge parcel of gifts. That one was beginning. I love this one, Bravery. And then we've got um, information card here. There's mandala cards. These cards were created as a tool to guide you towards your centre. Feel encircled, be inspired. The clear quartz crystal amplifies intention. It is a powerful healer and physical, emotional, mental and spiritual protector. So that comes as part of the deck. So these are going to be just completely completely wonderful to work with on my altar for um for meditation and um and just have a bit of holly's artwork in the house as well and her gorgeous generous kind spirit she's given me so much support as you all have it just means an awful lot it means an awful lot to me so that is a really really precious step to me now and um and thank you That's my gifts from other people and um the surprises i've had this morning and over the weekend as well and you know the kindness shared the new decks which i just can't wait to start playing with um the artwork Thank you guys, 52 is here and I'm thrilled about it. Thrilled to be sharing it with you lot and um, stay tuned, I'm gonna bore you to death with birthday stuff by the end of today, I'm certain. So thanks guys, I'll see you soon, bye.